Hello everyone. As a business owner, it is crucial to ensure your customer experiences a hassle-free payment process. With the Zoho Books Mexican edition, you can integrate with multiple online payment gateways and receive payments seamlessly from your customers. With online payments, you can receive payments quickly, provide better security for your transactions and receive payments from global audiences. In this video, we'll see how to set up a payment gateway configure feed integration and also see how auto charge works in Zoho Books. Let's get started. To set up payment gateway in Zoho Books, log in to your Zoho Books account, go to settings and click online payments. You can view the list of payment gateways you can integrate with. For the purpose of this video, let's integrate with Stripe. Click setup now. Enter your email ID and click continue. Enter your password, then click login. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, you can validate the process. Select the Stripe account you would like to connect to Zoho Books. If you want to create a new Stripe account, click here. For now, let's select this account and click connect. That's it. The Stripe integration is now complete. After this, you will be redirected to Zoho Books. Now you can receive online payments from your customers through Stripe. Let's see how the Stripe feed integration works in Zoho Books. Once your customers pay you through Stripe, it usually takes a few business days for Stripe to transfer the amount to your bank. Until then, the amount is held in your Stripe clearing account. After which, it gets transferred to the account in Zoho Books from where you can reconcile them with your sales and purchase transactions. Click the Configure Bank Accounts button. Enter the account where Stripe transfers the money. Now enter the Stripe clearing account where the money will be stored until the transfer happens. The fees account here tracks the fee that Stripe charges for processed transactions. You can change the default account as well. Click the sales account here which tracks the total sales transaction processed using Stripe. Choose the payment modes through which you wish to receive payments. Now click Save. Once this is done, you can select Stripe as a payment gateway while creating invoices. Let's see how this works. Go to the Sales module and create a new invoice. Enter the required details. At the bottom of the invoice, you can select Stripe and save the invoice. This invoice will be sent to your customers through mail along with the payment link. You can also click share at the top of the invoice and an invoice with the payment link will be generated. Once your customers receive the mail or the link, they can click the pay now button which will direct them to the payment page. They can enter their card details, billing address, and click here. Once you receive payment, the invoice will be automatically updated to paid status. You will also be notified through mail and receive in-app notification in Zoho Books for the same. To view the payment details in Zoho Books, go to the sales module, select payment received, and click on any of the payments received through Stripe. Scroll down and under more information, you can view the amount paid by your customer and also view the amount charged by Stripe in the respective accounts you have configured during the integration process. If you send invoices to your customers on a recurring basis, you can choose to collect their card details and charge them automatically. This is called auto charge. Let's see how AutoCharge works through Stripe in Zoho Books. To enable AutoCharge, go to Settings and select Preferences. Click Recurring Invoices. Select the Create, Charge and Send Invoices option. You can configure the retry preferences and customize the email notifications that will be sent to your customers by clicking the corresponding payment method. Click Save. The auto charge option is now enabled. There are three methods in which you can automatically charge your customers. 
The first is through the client portal. The second is by adding their card details and the third is by manually charging your customer. Let's see the first method. The client portal provides a single place for your customers to track their invoices, make payments and much more. Once they are logged in, they can go to invoices in the client portal. For recurring invoices, the customer has the option to authorize your organization to charge this card for future transactions. If your customer has enabled this option, then the card details will be stored in the payment gateway and will be used to charge them automatically for future invoices. Next, let's see how AutoCharge works by associating customers' cards. In Zoho Books, go to the Customers module and select a customer for whom you wish to auto-charge for the recurring invoice. Click the More option at the top right corner, select Add New Card. Enter the card details and click Save. Note that this option will be enabled only if you have chosen the Create, Charge and Send Invoices option for recurring invoice settings. Now to associate this card to a recurring invoice, go to the Sales module and select Recurring Invoices. Select the desired recurring invoice and click Associate Credit Card. This card will be charged automatically from the next invoice for this recurring profile. To charge the customer for an invoice manually, Go to the Sales module and select Invoices. Select an invoice you wish to charge. Click the drop down next to Record Payment and click Charge Customer. The card associated with the customer will be displayed. You will have to click Proceed to charge your customer. These are the different ways you can charge your customers through the Stripe integration. If at any point you wish to stop receiving payments through Stripe, you can delete the integration in Zoho Books. To do this, go to Settings, select Online Payments, go to Stripe. Here, click the Delete icon next to it. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support.mx at the rate Thank you.